And with the coronavirus taking up so much of our attention, it is easy to forget that we have an election coming up here in Kentucky. On June 23rd, Kentuckians get to vote in the primary but it will not be done, or it's going to be done a lot differently. LAX 18 political reporter Carolina Buchek is working remotely now, joins us live with details on Kentucky's voting plan. Carolina. Well, technically, voters don't have to go anywhere to cast a ballot this upcoming election. That is because the state is allowing all registered voters to vote through the mail using an absentee ballot. And that is what the governor is encouraging everyone to do. But of course, not everyone can do that or wants to do that. So the state knows it needs to provide another option as well. And the plan right now is to have some polling sites open. But if you have polling sites, of course, you need poll workers. And in Kentucky, typical poll workers tend to be older, which means most are in the vulnerable population when it comes to the coronavirus. So the state does not want to put them at risk, but then we're still left with the question, well, who will take over their role? And the governor says the National Guard has volunteered to step in and mobilizing them will not be difficult because they already live all across Kentucky. Guard in particular, we literally are spread out over the entire state. And I would offer that we probably have soldiers or airmen who live in virtually all of 120 of our counties. So it, it quite simply is kind of a common sense solution for, for the issue. The National Guard cybersecurity professionals will also be available to help election officials protect their online systems from any breaches. But remember, this is just one of the voting options. To make this all easier on people, the state is allowing people to vote through the mail. All you need to do is request an absentee ballot. Now, how do you do that? Well, it's using an online portal and you will get a postcard in the mail that will walk you through that entire process. But remember, you actually need to request that ballot because of the way the state laws are written. The governor says they can't just send out a ballot to every registered voter. If you want to vote through the mail, you need to request the ballot. Back to you.